Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with a happy birthday shaker card today. I will be using this happy birthday block which is a new die from the latest release by my favorite things. And I absolutely love this die because I think it makes uh, quick and simple cards but at the same time they are very modern because uh, this is, um, you will see when I remove the card, it has um, letters bigger and smaller and they are not lined up as you would expect for the happy birthday sentiment. I think it uh, makes it super easy to create cards for teenagers that look very stylish and modern. So I'm going to remove the die here and I'm making sure that I don't lose any of those pieces since I will be using some of them later on. Now I'm working on another piece of white cardstock and I will be using my blending tools and apply some Distress Oxide ink. I am going to apply three different colors, trying to have quite of an ombre effect. So I'm starting with a lighter color and I'm going all the way to the middle and to the darkest color and you can see the colors that I used on your screen right now. It doesn't have to be super blended since it's not going to show, this is going to be just the background for my shaker card. I'm going to use some water all over it and then I'm going to use a clean towel and blot all the water and you can see how this is going to lift some of the color and give that beautiful effect. By the way, I'm working on Bristol paper. So now it's time to create my circular window. I'm going to add some acetate at the back of my happy birthday panel. And now I'm going to use uh, glue and uh, stick all those little pieces inside the letters to help it uh, to help the sentiment be more readable. Although I think that you really don't have to do this step if you don't want to, it is readable as it is. Now I have added some foam tape and now it's time to add my confetti inside. I'm going to add a mix of my Nouveau confetti. So the blue one is called Turquoise Stars and the white one is called Diamond Harlequin. And you will find links down below to everything I used. And once I feel that I have enough of those confetti, I can peel off the packing from my foam tape. And then I'm going to stick the background paper that I have already prepared with my Distress Oxide inks. It's a really quick and uh, easy card to create but so striking, I love the simplicity of it. And although it is so simple, I think those uh, shaker elements really take uh, the card to the next level. Now I'm going to complete my sentiment by stamping one more just underneath the happy birthday that says you are amazing. And I'm going to finish it off by sticking three of the confetti stars just underneath. And I think that those two extra lines, one with uh, the small black sentiment and the one with the three little stars, give more balance on my card and completes the design beautifully. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.